So reclaim command data reclaim and log reclaim here data reclaim and log reclaim here so data reclaim means so normally we have to do it for the slash ana data folder and log also we can reclaim it here slash ana the log folder also we can reclaim it here so reclaim means re reclaiming claiming the space unused space from the so data volume and the log volume here unused space just to free up the unused space inside of the disk persistency here right so why we have to use it means uh, you have currently you see suppose like 34 gb you have you deleted the some of the data in the sap systems housekeeping or archiving is done but even though it is showing the same percentage it's not free up the space is not free rich then that time that cases we can use the so reclaim command reclaim the data command we can use it here so there is a there is a command here so there is a command here we have to reclaim is here just commands only alert alter alter system so reclaim alter system so reclaim the data volume here alter system reclaim data volume then so how much percentage of space you want to reclaim so how much percent data volume suppose like data volume maybe so 120 normally we will take the 120 percentage 120 the percentage here 120 percentage here then so we can use the defragment so just to do you can use the reclaim and so sometimes we will give the maybe let me write the syntax here then we can take the example here space Sometimes if the Trinity database, then host and port number, we will use it. Host and port number, then percentage. Then percentage, percentage of the so space, how much percentage load, then shrink mode. The shrink mode, we will use it here. This is the normal shrink, shrink mode. So we will use it here. Shrink mode, we will use it here. This is the so normal data volume space syntax here. So here, suppose if you want to do this one here, if you want to do defrag, shrink means defragment, defragment, something like that, we will write it here. So sometimes percentage, how much percentage you want to give it here, right? So this one, we will use it here, defragmentation, everything, we will use it here, right? So that is what we have to use it here, commands, right? Not the space, right? So suppose example, alter system, reclaim data volume suppose sometimes what will happen we will give the sap line x1 port number three instance number 13 or 14 then percentage 120 then the fragment the so fragment we will give it here so d fragment is the so by default one d fragment that is link mode d fragment so this command we can execute it in the this commands we can execute it in the in the SQL query that will be executed here. That will be executed here. Alter system reclaim data volume. Actually, this is the so SAP. This is a KP S4 HANA. Then so we need to write like KP S4 HANA. Then what is the so what is the this one here? Like what is the instance number and what is the percentage? So D fragment. So all those things we have to provide it. Otherwise, you will get the so syntax see here your data volume we mentioned the data column right so syntax missing syntax and everything here so right correctly we have to maintain the all the details then only so we will get the all the information and everything here right so all the things if you are connecting to specific tenant database the database name everything we have to maintain otherwise just execute it your command will be executed in the same system here we want to do it for specific tenant host name and all those things we have to maintain here host name and everything so we have to maintain for all the things here so this is the one of the reclaim command we have to use it here reclaim command here so this reclaim command it will reclaim the space whatever the unused space is there it will do the reclaim reclaiming option you will get the some free space mainly thing is the free space you will get here so here alter system reclaim data volume defragment it will reduce the 
fragmentation of the disk level and reclaim the disk space here. So this kind of things you will get the sometimes you may get the free space, free space and everything you will get in the systems here. Right. So this is the commands we have to use it here. If it is a log, then so log value. So reclaim log value. Just click on the execute button. So different log value syntax is different. So log value. So data value. This is the one. I think log value. There is a different command. We have to use it here. Right. Different command. We have to use it here. This way the data value reclaim command will be executed. Okay. So that is the reclaim command here. Right. What is the use of that 120? Sorry. That is a percentage. 120 percentage like that. So we have to. So means uh, how much percentage you want to reclaim it here. So by default, so we will give the so 120 percentage we will give it here. 120 percentage. So we will give it here. The by default that is a SAP standard one here. SAP standard one. So we will give the so this one here, right? We don't need to give mess when this is the common reclaim. SAP standard one. So log command, so just to alter system, so reclaim, just to, uh, I think no need to maintain all, just only log, that's it. Yes, that is only one thing, system, reclaim, log, that will be reclaim the log. So log directory, voice level, data and log directory, that will be reclaimed. So sometimes, how it is very important means, especially the log directory. Sometimes the backups is not happening, the log directory will get full, right? In that case, so this shrink or reclaim commands will help to give the some space here. If you have the free segments, free log segments, that will give you the free free space. It will you will get it out here, right? So then, so suppose sometimes what happens, your log value will become full. In that case. So what we can do, log into the operating system level, the log value is full. Then in this case, log into the OS level, try to stop the SAP uplink. You can just try to execute the commands. You will get some free space. Then in that case also, there is no luck, no free space. Then in that case, log into the OS level, try to stop the applications, whatever the applications and everything is running, stop the applications. Then, so stop the all the instances or whatever it is there, stop all everything, then use the reclaim log command again. So then you see the data volume or log volume become, so it will be reduced here. It will be reduced. So even though, even though it's not reduced, then what we can do here, sometimes it won't reduce. Why? Because already space is reclaimed here. So even though the log full situation, what we can do, we have to, we can check. So which one, which, which, which data, which folder having the free space here means uh, the available to free space here, available free space here. So where you have the, so free space you have, have available here, right? So then it, first of all, take the screen captures of the current to the file system structure, including the log directory, everything you can take it out here. Then, so, so try to, so uh, you can just execute the command. You will get the free space and everything here. So then after that, so what we have to do, so try to check the database is not stopped already. Means stop the database when doing this command. First of all, stop this activity. Whenever you have the log full situation, stop the database. Take the, the, the present, the amount points, the present directory structures, all those things you can take the screen captures here. So what is there here? So what is what is the what are the log files are there here? Just check in the MMT. This actually we should not delete manually here, right? So we should just take the all just here. So take the all the screen captures of this directory structure. What is the size and everything? But because inside of there are a lot of directories here, so we should not do manually. That's why SAP will tell don't touch these files in this directory, right? That's why we should not touch all those things here, right? So now you need to move the directory from, so some other tempo directory, you can move it. Some of the logs, you can move to the some other directory, but stop the database before doing this one. So stop the database here. Stop the database. 
So first check in which directory you have the free space, stop the database, then so move the contents, create the one temporary directory in that uh, new space, then move the some of the logs and everything from this space to uh, that folder, then create the soft link. They, they have to, we have to create the soft link, soft link, we have to create it here. We have to create the soft link with the, there is a soft link command. So yeah, otherwise, if you ask your uh, Linux team, they will take care of the Linux soft link command here, ln, ln minus FFS, then the target path, which path you want to create it, then source path, you have to just to maintain the, the some uh, syntax here, then soft link will be created here, then start the database here, then after starting the database, make sure, so you should be able to log, just to uh, run the log backups and everything, then it will clear the free space here, then after that, once the backups and relation back to normal, then stop the database again, then take the, take revert back to the previous status here. Means whatever the log files you move to the new directory, all the files you can back to the previous directory. Then, so remove the symbolic link, symbolic link here. So then validate the space and everything. This kind of things we have to do it here. Right? So which means, first of all, so sometimes what happens, rare cases, your HANA log volume will become full. HANA log volume will become full. In that case, slash HANA, the log volume will become full here. Then what we have to do, execute the reclaim command. There is no use. Stop the DB, then execute the reclaim command. Execute reclaim command. Execute reclaim command. There is no use, nothing free space. Then what you can do, stop the database only then so what we can do just to create a soft link create a soft link to the soft link soft link means uh first of first of all not the soft link check which directory are mount point mount point you have mount point you have free space right then so create a soft link, create a soft link to that directory from, from slash and log to, so slash and log folder that directory create a soft link, then move the files, move the files to that soft link directory, okay, where target directory, move the files to the target directory, then uh, start the HANA DB, start HANA DB, then, then execute the reclaim command again execute it you will get the free space then execute the backup execute the backup then when you execute the log backup or whatever the directory you have full right all the directory all the log files will be cleared then again stop the stop db then again whatever the files you move right move the files target directory then again move the files to the source directory again then start the database Again, move back, move back to the, move back to source directory, source directory. Then, so once you've done it, then, so start DB, make sure data backups are up and running here. The main thing is why sometimes you log value because your backups. So if the backups are not running, then your log folder will become, keep on filling, 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 filling. The log folder is full, your HANA will go hung status here. Then. So there is no operations and everything. So, so make sure you should have move the, all those things here, create the directory, all those things we have to do that one. This kind of, sometimes the log, HANA value, HANA data value won't full. Why? Because we have enough directory. Data value full means we have to extend only, there is no other way. Log value full means, so we have the, some alternatives like, so moving the files, create a soft link, moving the files to the target directory, then start the database, reclaim and execute the scripts, all those things we have to perform it. This kind of things we have to do it. Rare cases, small issues, we may get it out rare cases here. Okay. So any other things, anyone? Sir, uh, what is this SAP shine concept? Shine, shine concept is add-ons, it's just add-ons. It's all are the add-ons. Add-ons and plugins, so no one is using, I think, Shine concept. Shine, Shine is a just add-on. So just, uh, just kind of add-ons. 
normally we will use the acl and the lc apps right so same as like the shine only the plugin just add-ons and plugins concept hello <laughs> 